What is up everyone? It's Ivan and we got our machines. We ordered these machines for $265 from Alibaba in total delivered to the door. We got this huge two inch toy machine that actually takes two quarters on each side. So it's actually a dollar machine and we got these 50 cent coin mechanism one inch machines and we got three of them. You know, this is pretty pretty big machine here. This one's huge and these are normal sized you know what you see on racks and stuff uh, so the great thing about these is that they have keys basically one set of keys eight keys total so each machine came with two sets of keys they work for all of the machines so if you see here that has a one on it i don't know if you can see that but the one is for all of the lids we have a number two on there and that's for all of the coin drawers so for this one and these have their own coin drawers as well so basically two sets of keys like that per machine. So you do the math and all that, but it's a lot of keys and we don't need them. I mean, these alone would be good for these four machines. So I filled it up with bouncy balls and I want to test it out to make sure the coin mechanism is smooth. See how many we can vend with having no problems. Then we're gonna open up this and see if all the coins are in there nicely like we expect. All right, so we have our stack of quarters right here. So we'll get one quarter, put it on this side another quarter put on that side we will turn it and we should only get one ball okay that's one ball so that's great let's throw it back in there i'm gonna do it a few more times and i'll let you guys know if we have any problems that was one so far and we'll go through all of these quarters which is probably going to be like 10 or over 10 so let's do that and i'll tell you guys how it went we probably did it like 10 times and each time we got one bouncy ball and the coin mechanism wasn't jammed or it wasn't stuck or anything like that so let's go ahead and grab a number two key here uh that's a number two and we will lower the camera down here insert that just turn it up just like that and pull this out nice and easy and you can see all of the quarters in there are there any quarters in there so zero quarters in there you can see them all right here i am super impressed with this machine they said also you know these are from china so obviously the concern here is if one of these breaks you're not going to be able to get another one for a while but at the price that i got these at i mean it's insane the price i got these at with 50 cent coin mechanisms i mean this is cheaper than a us one at a 25 cent coin mechanism so this is just insane and you can buy i think this coin mechanism she told me is 15 bucks a piece so you could buy you know that's usually the upgrade fee from 25 cent in the u.s to 50 cents so you can actually get a 50 cent one for free an extra for free and the, the machine is also cheaper than the 25 cents so it's it's just insane i'm sure all these other machines will work because they're exactly the same this is one inch bouncy ball so i'm sure one inch capsules will work as well and i've been talking to some suppliers in china as well uh i don't know i don't know what to do with these i don't know if i should replace the lower portion of my rack at the sushi place just because these are brand new They're they're just super nice machines I'm, I'm gonna test this one out as well all right so we just filled this one up with pokeballs and we're about to test it so let's go ahead and see that i'm gonna unlock the top uh, just because <clears throat> and then we're gonna try it with four quarters so basically how this one works is it's two quarters on this side it's a dollar for the pokeball and two quarters on this side and you turn it you can hear that it fell in the coin drawer and then here is the pokeball and there's a little figurine inside all you do is turn it so that it's sideways instead of up and down and you can see inside all of the quarters so you actually have to turn it back so that it's sideways so that it'll go in oh it just keeps turning i am probably gonna need to use two hands it is on there now it's it's easy to do it with two hands but it's a little harder with uh, one because you have to turn this so that it's the vertical instead of horizontal but let's talk about some downsides of these machines so obviously one of the downsides that i've seen is that this coin drawer as nice as it is and as easy as it is to take the money out i'm sure someone can put a flathead screwdriver in between here and just break it off um, if you have it within a restaurant or something, you know, I doubt that uh, 
people will be you know crazy enough to just break the machine in front of everyone and honestly it's not going to be worth it it's just a few quarters and by the time they try to break this one this one this one you know it, it, it's 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 going to be just stupid it would be stupid for somebody to do that this one is going to be a lot more difficult to break but there is a gap here so they could jam something in there and break this thing off if they wanted to but again like i said you know that's going to be part of the of what you have to accept with machines. There might be always the risk of someone breaking into them. But for this price, you're getting them so cheap that does it really matter? I mean, think about how quick this machine would be paid off. You know, but the the risk of stealing is always a possibility no matter how strong or weak your machine is. You know, another downside was some of the scuffs. Obviously, it's shipping from China, so the possibility of it getting scratched and all kinds of things does, you know, does happen. As you can see here, there's a little bit of paint that's been shipped off of there. And uh, it was actually dented a little bit right here. You can see the little gap there, but it's still strong. I mean, the metal is, you know, you, you, I tried to bend it back and it's, it's, it's super hard to do that. So it was probably just something, you know, it came from overseas. So it was probably like a lot of weight on it, but this is all strong stuff. And uh, it feels like heavy duty stuff. The quality of it feels fine. And even the U.S. suppliers, you know, they're ordering this stuff from China and then doing upgrades on it most of the time. So, you know, you're kind of getting uh, something very similar to what you would buy anyways here in the U.S. So that's my review on this. I think I'm going to get more Pokeballs, fill this up. I don't know how quickly I'm going to put these on location. I might replace the machines I have in the sushi place with these just because they are they look so much nicer. They're more convenient and they have 50 cent coin mix as opposed to some of the machines I have on the lower rack. I have three machines on the lower rack that look similar to these. This one is 50 cents, but the other two are set for gumballs and peanut M&Ms, and those are at 25 cents. So if I can put toy machines in there like these and run some capsules in, these, in, in both of these, at 50 cents, we'll be able to make way more money there. And this is, e this is more intuitive to use at 50 cents. The one I have there is you place the quarters back to back. Kind of like this, but it's only one side. So it's 50 cents, you put two in there, it's at the top. And you put two quarters in there and that's 50 cents and you turn it. And I feel like that's not as easy to understand as this, where you put one quarter on each side and the way that it's set up on each side, there's actually stickers already made where I can put it here and it says, put one quarter this side, one quarter that side. You can turn it and over here it says, put two quarters this side, two quarters this side. So there's stickers out there that I can place on these machines to make it even more obvious and easy for the customer to understand. So I'm pretty excited with these. And once again, it was only 265. I spoke to the, the representative that was that sold me these machines and she told me that, you know, the, the, the gumball wheel is only like two bucks. And then the big one over here is like 10 bucks. And then the mech is like $15. So it, it's super cheap stuff and you can have backup parts. I mean, for these machines, I probably only have two extra candy wheels, two extra mechs. And this one, I would have one extra mech, one extra wheel. And I think I would be, you know, I think I would be good with that. It's not like it's, it's going to break every month. So if one does break and I need to replace the replacement, the backups, then I could just order them again from her and it'll be no problem. As you can see here too, this one is kind of like a little scratched. I don't know if you can catch it on there. It's like a little bit of scratch on there. There's like a little scratch, right? Oh no, that's a hair. But you know, they're, they're not in perfect condition, but they're way newer than anything you can buy, you know, that's, this is a, as, as new as it'll get, you know, just considering it has to come from overseas and there'll be some, some buffs on it. I need to clean it a little bit. So maybe some of this isn't, uh, isn't uh, damaged, but this definitely is, this is, this is scratched right here. I can see it, but these machines look great. Super shiny, super useful. The coin Max are awesome on them and they have a bunch of space and capabilities to vend one inch products at 50 cents. So I'm super excited. I think the buy was, was worth it. Uh, everyone in the vending, well, the people that did respond in the, in the discord didn't support buying overseas. Uh, they just really value the customer service that they get from us suppliers. So, you know, I can appreciate that and understand that, but for me, for the price and, uh, being able to run the business at higher probabilities, this is the no brainer. I mean, you know, do you really need, customer service on these. I mean, it's just a simple swap, 
right? If it's a coin mech or a gumball wheel, is, is, is that really, do you really need customer service for that? You can just order a bunch of extra parts. And if you don't have them, then that's on you and it's gonna be stressful and you might have to replace it with a different machine or something. But these can, this whole machine can be swapped out by an older machine that doesn't look as nice while you're waiting for parts if worst case scenario happens. But in the best case scenario, you already have product, you already have uh, replacements on hand. So I really don't see the argument for anything other than these machines. Obviously, we're gonna put them on site and if they break, super quick then you know i can understand but from what i see it turns super easily it turns better than the, the used machines that i bought that are there right now so you know if this has the same lifespan as the machine i already have there why would i not be putting this one in there it's it's it's, it's just better in every single way so that's my review for this let me know your comments down below i know some people in vending watch these videos as well so of course because it's vending some people watch it for entertainment others watch it just because they like vending and everything about vending so you tell me if you would buy these machines for 265 considering this is a dollar coin mech and all of these are 50 cents all gumball wheels everything can run capsules this is two inch and this is all one inch so you tell me if this is worth it for 265 and the prices that i gave you on the replacement parts i mean give me a reason why you wouldn't buy these machines give me a reason of something I'm not thinking about that I need to think about. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.